Azur Kachalu was a developer who mostly created simple utility packages. One of them, a package called Keek, became the spark of the incident. It all began with a single email. The message asked him to change the name of his Kick package. The sender was a Canadian messaging app company called Kick. That's right. Kochalu's package happened to share the same name as their company. They wanted him to give up the name so they could publish their own package on NPM. Part of the published message read, We don't mean to be rude, but Kick is a registered trademark. If you continue using this name, our lawyers will have no choice but to take Take down your account. Kochulu, furious, replied like this. Ha ha, you're already being rude. Don't email me again. When negotiations broke down, Kick went straight to NPM to request mediation. Without asking, NPM transferred the package name to Kick and simply informed Kochulu of the decision. Feeling betrayed, on March 23, 2016, Kochulu deleted all the packages he had uploaded. Immediately, automated deployment systems at thousands of companies, including giants like Facebook, Netflix, PayPal, and Spotify, came to a screeching halt. Thousands of websites started throwing errors and shutting down one after another. Programmers everywhere went into emergency mode. At the center of the chaos was a package called LeftPad. It was just 11 lines of code Kochulu had written years earlier. Simple, even modest. But countless projects used it, and LeftPad had quietly spread across the entire internet. And then, overnight, that code was gone. As thousands of developers rushed online to figure out what had happened, NPM realized the gravity of the situation and made an unprecedented decision. They forcibly restored the deleted left pad package. The chaos, which lasted about two hours, finally came to an end. But the extraordinary incident and the story behind it spread like wildfire, leaving developers everywhere stunned. After the incident, some blamed Kick, others blamed NPM, and still others blamed Kochulu. And some even said, does it really make sense that all this chaos happened over just 11 lines of code? Perhaps no line sums up the whole incident better. 